Welcome to Pathways of Hope. My name is Abion Kahlo and I would like to share with you my reflection for today's Gospel. Today's Gospel is taken from Matthew chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. Here, we see Jesus giving a steer warning to His disciples. And this warning is not just applicable to His disciples, but it has been applicable to the whole church and throughout history. And it's very much applicable to us right now. The world has a difficulty to understand the way of God. Sometimes there's persecution, sometimes indifference to the gospel, or failure to understand it. But genuine commitment to Christ really involves difficulties and trials and sufferings. And these are not just ordinary teasing. In fact, the scripture says that a brother will turn against his brother, a, a father against his child, and children against their parents. It's going to be difficult. But as Christians, this should not surprise us because Christ himself was a sign of a contradiction. And if we are not experiencing those kinds of difficulties and persecutions, then we might have to ask ourselves whether or not we are of the world. But difficulties and persecutions will surely come and we need to be wise and cunning like the serpent, but continue to maintain holiness and innocence like a dove. And these difficulties should not scare us, should not make us af be afraid because we are not alone. God the Father will send His Holy Spirit for us in our defense. In fact, I remember a passage from St. Paul written to the church in Corinth. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Paul says there that we are going to encounter various trials. And the trials that we encounter is, is not unique to us. It's common to man. And when the time of trial comes, God himself is faithful because he will not allow us to be tested beyond our capacity to stand firm. And during those trials, God himself will find a way out. Well, brothers and sisters, when we experience these trials, let us take courage because that means that we belong to Christ. God bless us all.